So we learned how to jiggle this alphabet A. Let's make the animation more interesting. So if you go back to coding, we can look for other fun stuff that we can do. And by all means, you can go into these programming blocks and try different things yourself and learn what these commands do. So let's, let me go into looks now. And in looks, we can use some stuff. So for example, I can use this command called change size. So what I'm going to do is it's going to change the size of the sprite. So I'm going to put it inside this repeat loop. So I'm saying uh, that change the size by 10. And then let's run this program and test. And this is how you learn. You, you just pick up some, you just drag and drop some command, uh, run the command and see what it does. So let's see what this change size by 10 command does. So let's run the program. So it's now jiggling and then every time it jiggles, the letter is becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. So if we animate the whole name, then it will not fit in here if it becomes bigger and bigger. So what we can do is uh, we can make it grow bigger and then uh, make it shrink. So to do that, let me say change size by a bigger factor, let's say 50. Okay. And then I go back to looks and then I drag change size again. And this time I say change size by minus 50. And I put it here. So now what uh, this program will do is when the green flag is clicked, first it will make sure that the sprite is upright in the right direction. Then it will enter a loop. A loop means that whatever is inside this will get repeated whatever number of times we say. So if I say five, it will get repeated five times. If I say eight, it will uh, get repeated eight times. And if I say actually 85, then it will get repeated 85 times. So right now I just wanted to repeat 10 times. Uh, and then within this repeat loop, I'm saying change the size of this character by 50, then uh, turn to the right 15 degrees, then wait for 0 0.5 seconds, then change size uh, by negative 50 so that it comes back to the same size, then turn left and then wait again and then repeat all these instructions 10 times. So let's run this program and see what happens. So again, because uh, it has uh, become so big, the first thing we have to do is we have to say when the program runs, just like we said that before you get into this repeat a set of commands loop, let's uh, like you were saying, make the sprite go upright. Uh, we also want the sprite to be of the same size. So if I go to this command, this set of commands under look, then I can see that there is a command here which says set size to 100%. So we are saying that when the program starts, set the size of this sprite to 100%, make sure it is upright and then repeat these, these set of instructions 10 times. So let's run this program. I click green button and then I have got this nice animation of uh, this sprite magnifying a little and also jiggling and it does that 10 times. So let's see what other nice uh, animation we can add to our sprite or this A letter. So if I go back to looks, you can just look for interesting commands here. So for example, uh, maybe I want to say uh, change the color effect. So I'm saying repeat, I'm going to drag this out and I'm going to put it inside the repeat loop. And now I'm just saying change the color effect by 25. And then if I test my program and I run it, then I have got this, the A letter of my name, the first letter of my name, it is becoming nicely animated that uh, it jiggles it, it magnifies, shrinks, and it also changes color. Then you can also play with all the values here. So if you want the color change to be more drastic, then instead of 25, you put a higher number here. So let's say I put 55. And likewise, for the turn command, you can, if you want it to turn more, then all you have to do is 
change this number of degrees. So let me say, let's say 25. And of course, if I wanted to turn 25 to the right, then I should also make it turn 25 to the left so that I get the same position back. Then I can run this and test this program. So now the color changes are more dramatic and the turn is also more dramatic. So this is how we have animated the first alphabet or the first letter in my name. So let's say you wanted to add more characters here because A is just the first letter. My name is Atul. Uh, so let's say the second letter is T. So I go back to this plus sign to add a new sprite. I go to all and then I scroll down and till I come to the alphabets, come to the alphabet and here I select the next letter T. So I select T and then I just click this tick mark and now I've got T and I want to position them right. So I want my A to be here on the stage and I want my T to be here and then if I go back to the program. So now we have got this second sprite T but there is no program here. Now we can always write the program from beginning but to save ourselves some effort if I go to A and the program that I have written if I just uh, click and hold then I get these other options which says duplicate copy to other sprites paste to this sprite etc. So I'm going to say copy to other sprites then I'm going to go and click on this second sprite T and then just click and hold here and I get this menu from here I say paste to this sprite and I get my entire program here. So whatever code we had written for A we have got the same code now for T and now if I just simply run the program you can see that I've got this kind of an animation going. If you don't want that both the sprites should be absolutely identically animated you can go and make some changes. In the code I can just change I can say change the color effect by uh, let's say 100, turn it only 5 degrees okay and I can say turn it back then I have to make this change here also uh, say that turn it back minus 5 and then I can change the wait command so I can say maybe I want to say wait for 1 second instead of 0.5 seconds and same likewise if I and I say wait for one second. So like that I've made some small changes uh, here and again I can say change the size by maybe uh, 80 then I have to change the size to negative 80 later so that I get the same size and then if I test my program and I click now I've got this you know some little strange animation but you get my point that all you have to do is that you can keep changing and I've made some mistake in my code because my T uh, you know keeps shifting a bit to the right. So next let's add more letters. So the next letter in my name is U. So very quickly I go back I go to all I scroll down till I find the letters and from here I select U which is the next letter in my name. I bring it on here and then I go back to A. I click and hold and I copy to other sprites. I select this command. I go to uh, U sprite and then again I click and hold and I get this set of commands. So I say paste to this sprite and if I see it here and I start then I've got uh, my name and like I said, you know, if you if you don't like this particular animation, you can go and back and make changes. But let me just put the last uh, letter in my name, Atul, A-T-U-L. So again, I go to this plus button to add sprites. I click on all. I scroll down and I select L. Click here. I've got L. I go back to, let's say, T this time. I click and hold. I get this new uh, menu and I say copy to other sprites. Then I go to L, click and hold and I say paste to this sprite and if I run my program and I say click the uh, button 
I have my name of course I can first go and you know just place them correctly and uh, here let me just place it right so I'm going to put I'm going to make a little distance I'm going to say T is here U is here L is here and then if I run the program I press the green button then I've got this my name animating so I hope watching these videos you get a little sense of this program called M block which is very similar to scratch but it works on your mobile phone while scratch doesn't so why don't you try this program you can try animating your name or try writing any other fun program